Uh, it's me, Adam, again. I'm here with my friend James. I'm going to show you one of the ways to apply those micro de details we talked about with Tori. Uh, this one can turn into a crank. Are you good? You ready? Okay. It can turn into a crank, but it looks like a choke. Uh, so just go for it. Uh, but anyway, so my opponent reaches for his underhook here. I'm going to wizard and I step out this leg here. Now the same thing, I'm trying to put my shoulder into the back nape of his neck. I'm trying to rotate my wrist underneath his jaw and I'm using my supporting hand to support the attacking hand. This one is going underneath his armpit though. I'm not in front. I'm underneath his armpit here. So I'm here, here, here. Now to finish, what I'm gonna do is rotate that watch like I was talking about, but at the same time, I sink my hips in to really crank and twist to make his knee kiss his face. So usually we're here, we're fighting, he shoots up, I go under, boom, here, and I turn my hips and I'm rotating everything, but keeping that shoulder here. If I go here and slide, he can pop his head up. So it's important that you're really locking that shoulder in the back of the neck. Go ahead. Um, Nick has a principle, it's called the Lego principle, and so you can think that my shoulder is a little socket that I'm planting right into that Lego piece, and then it locks it all into place. 